conservative new media viewers, and political watchers all around the world, particularly here in the United States. It's me, John D. Villarreal, the super genius and the political expert, joined by Paul F. Villarreal by phone. And first of all, I have to start this off by saying this is all of our personal opinion only. We're not alleging any facts. We're not casting any aspersions. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Please check the disclaimers. Now, we're talking about the third presidential debate that went down in Boca Raton, Florida, but obviously was seen nationwide and probably worldwide. And Paul, I'm just going to start turning this over to you. You know, I have a bunch of notes here, but I want to get your impression of this debate. I'll, I'll just start by saying that I thought that both candidates had some um, strong moments. I think that President Obama had some very strong moments, but I thought overall it was a pretty close debate on debating points. But I thought that Mitt Romney won the debate for a number of reasons. I felt like Mitt Romney had an incredibly strong close. I felt like, you know, there, he didn't provide a lot of daylight between his policies and President Obama's policies. But I think that Mitt Romney was much more positive, much more optimistic, much more forward looking. I felt like Mitt Romney actually laid out a, a more distinct plan. And I think that Mitt Romney re reminded the American people uh, about the economy. And I think that that is a, a, a very key, if not the number one issue in this election. And then we, we can go point by point. I know you have a lot of points, I have a lot of points. But my basic impression of when you, when you step away from this debate, overall I felt like Mitt Romney had the better body language. He seemed calm, in control. I think that uh, he didn't provide a lot of daylight between him and President Obama. And again, that strong close was very powerful, but also I think that President Obama said a number of things that may come back to uh, haunt him, if you will, um, you know, politically, because, you know, whether it was the, the strange comment of we're not playing Battleship or whatever he said there, and then challenging uh, Governor Romney on some facts, and I believe Chris Wallace of Fox News did a, a quick fact check, and people were saying that, you know, Governor Romney was right. So I think those are things that are going to stay with it, Paul. What was your impression uh, or impressions of this debate, the third debate? My overriding impression was that I thought... Governor Romney won the debate because he accomplished more of what he wanted to accomplish coming into this debate. As you and I have talked about uh, earlier between ourselves, my feeling was that in order to have an opportunity, a realistic opportunity to earn a second term as President of the United States, I thought that Barack Obama, President Obama, needed to basically hit a home run metaphorically in this debate, and I don't think that happened at all. I thought that he had some very good moments. I thought that the moments talking about uh, the, the anecdote about the, the woman or the daughter in the 9-11 tragedy and, and, and yeah. his words to her, I thought that was strong. I thought that the debate was relatively even on point going into the last couple of minutes. But as you mentioned, Governor Romney closed so strong by taking this debate about foreign policy and bringing it back to where the American economy is right now and how that kind of puts America in a weakened position relative to the rest of the world. I thought that that pretty much won him the debate on my scorecard, so to speak. But more importantly, uh, I thought that Governor Romney wanted to show that he is not another George W. Bush he, he, this, this isn't a, a caricature, and he achieved that tonight. He did not seem disagreeable. He did not seem like somebody that could be painted as a warmonger. He actually seemed relatively dovish, and he was able to say, look, I'm not somebody that wants to rush into war with Iran. I was in Israel five years ago saying we need to do sanctions against Iran. So I'm not a quick trigger person. I've been talking about doing this in a reasoned, deliberate uh, way for years. And so I just felt that overall, I thought that Governor Romney seemed more presidential. He seemed more relaxed. I thought that President Obama seemed more defensive and kind of on edge. And I think that that reflects, in my opinion, where both uh, campaigns are. I think that Governor Romney is in the position of strength to win this election, and I think that President Obama is lagging behind. And I think you saw that tonight, and I felt that President Obama did 
not believe that he got done what he needed to get done tonight to kind of save or rescue his campaign. And, and I thought that the demeanor of both men reflected how they felt about things. Yeah, I, I, and I have a lot of things I'm going to talk about right here, but I also want to talk about the moderator maybe get your comments. I yeah. thought this was a very well-moderated debate by uh, Bob Schieffer, obviously the veteran uh, reporter and now host of uh, CBS's Face the Nation. I think that um, he did a, a good job. The time for both candidates to speak was the closest I think we've seen, I believe, maybe I'm wrong, on any of the debates. It was 41 uh, minutes and 42 seconds for President Obama, 41 minutes and 7 seconds for uh, Governor Mitt Romney and once again in all four debates the, the Democrat has had more time than the Republican but at least this one it was close but I felt like you know he uh, you know uh, he, you know may, went through the different questions each of the candidates answered those questions or, or, or answered what they wanted to and then they had some interchange and I felt like we got a, 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 a good uh, fair hearing from both candidates and um, I would say, you know, uh, the Jim Lehrer debate and this debate, in my personal opinion, were the two best debates. And I think, um, by comparison, in my personal opinion, the Martha Raddatz debate and the Candy Crowley debate um, don't compare as favorably to those two debates, Paul. What are your thoughts on that? I completely agree. It was almost like, and I'm not, I'm not I, I respect Martha Raddatz and Candy Crowley, but it was almost like two professionals bookending two amateurs, and, and the professionals being Jim Lehrer and Bob Schieffer. And maybe it's not a coincidence that they are uh, you know, much older than those two women. I think they've been around longer, and they just knew how to handle it a little bit better, in my opinion. And I, I definitely respect the job that Bob Schieffer did tonight. I think that what people want to see in debates is they want each person involved to have an opportunity to just kind of flesh out their positions. The moderator is like, the less you see and hear the moderator, the better. And I thought that's what we saw tonight. And uh, Bob Schieffer gave Mitt Romney, Governor Romney, the opportunity, okay, let's see what you know about foreign policies and stuff, since you've never worked in that arena. You, you know, you've worked as, as an American governor and other things, although he certainly has had a lot of international contacts in that capacity and had a, as a businessman. I thought that Governor Romney showed the depth of his knowledge about world affairs, talking about specifics and, and things in China and this business, supposedly this business, that they're making knockoff products of yeah. American products. I, I, was, I, thought, I thought that was a strong point. Governor Romney showed he absolutely knows and is on point about what he needs to know as the commander-in-chief and as, as the foreign policy uh, uh administrator of this country and I thought that Bob Schieffer allowed him to do that and I thought Bob Schieffer did a, did a great job. I agree with you. Now let, 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 let's go to that. I'm going to start from the back and, 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 and go uh, to the front so sort of go backwards if you will because I thought as you mentioned Paul that, that the uh, last part of the debate I thought the debate was, was pretty close. I could you know going into, into the last 10 minutes that maybe uh, President Obama was maybe getting a little bit of an edge in, in certain respects but then obviously with the fact check stuff I was you know I, I put that down as a question mark, you know, let's see how, how these claims turn out, obviously, and I think it turned out, you know, uh, in uh, uh, Governor Romney's favor, so that was obviously a caveat. But anyway, let's, let's get right, right to it. I think that the close by uh, uh, Governor Romney was very, very strong. I mean, it was just like, as you talk about, let's talk about China, you know, uh, well, and also China and future threats, right? That was the question. And President Obama said, you know, terror and, you know, China and friend or foe, and it's kind of, I thought, sort of muddled through that answer. Governor Romney, he's like, you know, he said the greatest threat is a nuclear Iran. And I think that that is, is I think a lot of people would agree with that, and I, and, and, and I agree with that. And he said that, you know, China can be a great ally. He says that uh, it's not government that creates business. It's not government that, you know, uh, uh, should be making the investment, stuff like that. And I thought that was very powerful. And also, as he said in... in you know, as someone that has been in, in, in the venture, in the private equity business, it's like, you know, who, what private investors would invest in, 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 in a competitor, if the, it would invest in a company, whether it's green energy or, or new technology, whatever, if they know the government is investing a lot of money in their competitor. So, we, you know, Governor Romney made the case that, you know, government investment, not in research, but in companies, could actually stifle 
you know, uh, growth and technology and, and job creation in new technology sectors. Now, that, that was a very powerful point, and I hope that uh, other reporters and analysts pick up on this point. As someone that's been a venture capitalist myself, I'll be it for a short, very short period of time, but has been around the venture industry for a long time uh, and, and started companies and, and run companies, stuff like that. I can tell you that that point made a tremendous amount of sense uh, to me, and I agree with that point. Um, okay, so, but he also said, um, you know, that, that the president's own secretary of defense said that military cuts are quote unquote devastating. <laughs> President Obama didn't seem to have a response to that. And then, like you said, Paul, he went through the China stuff about how, you know, he claimed that China was manipulating the currency, taking jobs, you know, um, uh, hacking into our computers, taking our intellectual property, that there is, you know, then um, uh, Governor Romney was asked about, well, you know, by uh, moderator Bob Schieffer, well, could this per perhaps start a trade war? And, you know, if you get too tough on, you know, basically label China a currency manipulator when you come in office, I think uh, Governor Romney is talking about that. And I think uh, Governor Romney responded that, listen, there's a silent trade war going on now. That they, you know, and, and also, here's how much the China, he's, he showed that, you know, here's how much China sells us, here's how much we sell them. You know, who would be more concerned about a trade war, us or them? I thought that was very powerful. We talked about, as you said, Paul, the counterfeit goods, you know, can't steal jobs. And I think that that was really, really important. Now, then, uh, President Obama then sort of went into this sort of uh, at attack on uh, and talking points, in my personal opinion, on uh, Governor Romney didn't really answer about the trade war. And then Romney came back and he says, attacking me is not setting out an agenda. So I thought that was uh, that was powerful. And then he said, look, I disagree with President Bush on 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 on, on cuts. And he said I wouldn't do anything to hurt the auto industry. You know, I mean, I, you know, and I think that obviously. Uh, Governor Romney, or at least his father's family, had experience obviously in the, in the in the auto industry, and Obama seemed to be interrupting. And he's like, "Look, you know, I wouldn't have a situation where government's investing in Tesla and Fisker and Solyndra." And you could just see in President Obama's face. Now, I thought that was a very powerful uh, point. And again, he, he talked about that too. You know, private sectors. I, I, I have the quote here, uh, or with my paraphrase of the quote, my personal opinion, private sector transcript for the exact quote: "Private sector is not going to invest in a company if you." Uh, mean the government are investing in their competitor and then, um, and then let me just say this super quick then he went on a list at the end a list of the economic record you know and basically I, I saw this as kind of a frame like you know Obama was hope and change in 08 but now Obama's like the past you know and, and that was the thing is Obama had these was, was talking about this and this and this President Obama but I just found it, Paul, that he, you, you just can't escape the record. He can't run away from the record. And the record, in my personal opinion, is not good. And, and the list that Governor Romney went down, unemployment, jobs, economy, businesses, you know, and he's like, look, it's, you're not going to turn the economy around just by hiring teachers. President Obama kept talking about teachers and teachers and teachers and teachers. You know, and, and what have we seen around the states, whether it's, you know, issues in Chicago, issues in California, uh, you know, the Wisconsin stuff, where the, the teachers and the pensions, this and that, whatever, I mean, these, these, these costs yeah. and, and that whole situation with, with the public employee unions is a serious situation. And he's like, I want to move towards more local control. So I felt like, like the close, and then, but as Greta Van Susser said, and that struck me too, when Governor Romney looked in the camera at that close, and he says, and he said, you know, I want to work with you. He seemed very optimistic. It seemed again like like Ronald Reagan, Morning in America. You know, I want to work with you. They're talking about the voters and, and you know uh, and asking for people's vote. I believe. I thought that was a very powerful close, and I felt like President, uh, excuse me, I felt like Governor Romney just did better overall than President Obama. And we'll talk about some more points. I want to get your comments on that, Paul. Yeah, I agree with that. Like you, you brought up some really good points there. And I think that, look, I respect what President Obama has done uh, uh, in foreign policy in a lot of aspects, like like uh, Osama bin Laden and doing different things in that respect. Uh, I support that. But I think that, that some of the points, some of the way in which things were debated tonight, I thought there was a real contrast between... Uh, how each man was coming off. I thought that Mitt Romney had more of a presidential level of discourse and such, whereas with President Obama, we got, you know, this battleship quote and the bayonets and stuff like this. It almost seemed, to me, it reminded me of uh, kind of this thing that they've been doing this um, campaign theme on Big Bird and, and the binder stuff. It's almost, it seemed to me, so President Obama was going more for these kind of like uh, 
like laugh a track thing, like little like little joke lines or something. And I know that one of the commentators said after the debate said something like, "Yeah, the 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 the, the, the language he was using or the way he was saying stuff, it almost seemed like somebody that was running for city council instead of president of the United States." And so I thought that there was more seriousness coming from Governor Romney than President Obama, although I respect what President Obama has done in a lot of respects. However, and this was mentioned in one of the focus groups after the debate tonight, uh, a lot of people said that they respected or, or what President Obama has done in foreign policy, but a majority of them feel as though Governor Romney would be better on the economy, and it, because of where the economy is in the United States, this election seems much more likely to be about the economy than about foreign policy, and in that respect, it would seem that Governor Romney would have a, a decided advantage. I, I think that's right, and I have I, I wrote that down too. You know, uh, on the military thing, you know, President Obama saying, you know, the nature of the military has changed. Quote: Not a game of battleship. I believe it's, it's my personal opinion, a paraphrase of the quote. Please check transcript for the exact quote. I mean, that which I just thought was wait, wait that was just so odd, and there were just a, you know several odd moments like that from President Obama tonight. And, and I just didn't really understand. On the other stuff, you know, cutting spending and Iran and, and, and some of the other issues, um, obviously extremely important, but I think that, you know, there was a lot of sort of similarity in, in certain aspects there. Again, Romney saying, you know, attacking me as an agenda, but he also, one thing that I thought was really good is he said, I have clear eyes on this and I don't uh, have rosy glasses when it comes to, you know, uh, Vladimir Putin. And you know, I'm not, you know, nor am I going to give him more flexibility uh, after the election and stuff like that. And saying, you know, look, there's, you know, I, I think, I think that the 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 criticism that uh, Governor Romney was making of President Obama's policies, in my personal opinion, this is my paraphrase of it, is like, look, you know, it's 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 great to try to, you know, talk to different countries and 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 you know, do diplomatic things and make friends and everything like that. But at the same time, you have to deal with the realities. That are on the ground, and I think you know uh, Governor Romney was saying you know that we want peace, and he was you know really stressing that and whatnot. But you know we have to we have to stand with our allies, and we have to do what's right for America, and we have to do what's right for Americans and stuff like that. He laid out, talked about some of the energy policy issues there. So in other words, it's not enough to just maybe this is my my own personal so uh, idea here, you know, but it's an interpretation. It's not enough to make a speech and think happy thoughts and think everyone's going to get along and whatever like that like you you know you have to go out there make an effort have a policy and then react to what the world gives you back basically you know what is reality that's really happening out there and being accountable you know for it and 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 dealing with it and, you know with, with in other words with with governor romney i had the feeling like the buck would stop with him whereas with president obama at least you know you know who knows it just was it always seemed like he was blaming someone else you know the last 10 years and then bush and four years and going backwards it's like he kept talking about that like dude you've been president for four yeah. years and for two of those years you had you know the rather the democrats had control of the congress and you could have passed a bunch of stuff and you know instead it was it was it was obamacare and it was you know stimulus and it, and this and that whatever so in other words i think that it, it, you know at what point do you become accountable and responsible for your own for your own record and i thought that was that was important another issue i'll, I'll say this real quick and then i'll i'll uh, uh turn it over to you and we can wrap up is you know Governor Romney just seems so much more command of the facts and and just knowledgeable. I felt like, like you said, Paul, that, that President Obama definitely had uh, some strength on foreign policy. He has been commander in chief. He has gotten the intelligence briefings. He has been out there doing diplomacy on a world stage, whatever like that. So I mean, no matter what, and obviously President Obama, an intelligent uh, a, a person, you know, you have that experience. You're in there. You're having those kind of experiences. You're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to know a lot of things. So I think that any incumbent president is going to have an advantage over any challenger on that sphere and I think that that showed up tonight but I think that you know on certain issues like like Governor Romney talking about hey Latin America has a huge market it's almost the size of, of, of China and stuff like that and he started listing off some different things I just feel like Governor Romney came across as someone that was reasonable someone that connected with the American people someone that has a plan for the economy a plan for foreign policy a plan to make things better and he talked about working with both sides. We you know, talked about the 34 Democrats that, that wrote President Obama saying, hey, you know, 
Yeah. Uh, they weren't happy. Third were Democratic senator. They weren't happy with the relationship with Israel. You know uh, what was going on with the administration or whatever. Uh, and and just talking about working with both sides, it just seemed like someone that had a reasonable, practical plan. And you know, I think that we, as you said before in, in the call, I think we saw the reemergence of moderate Mitt Romney, who was the former governor of Massachusetts, and he talked about his experience there working with Democrats. Paul, go ahead, talk about that. That's exactly right. I thought that. This was the last part of a three-part job interview for Mitt Romney tonight, and I thought he passed it extremely well. Uh, I think what you said about President Obama talking about the previous administration, whatever, uh, Mitt Romney answered that perfectly by saying, well, we don't want to go backwards to the last four years. And, and what you said is right, which is I think that President Obama has a record now that is really weighing him down in terms particularly about the economy and the, some of the choices he made, Solyndra and these types of things, the stimulus, uh, other, other Obamacare. And I just think that he can't get away from that. And so now it's, it's almost like Governor Romney has become, uh, become the hope and change candidate. He's the one with the optimism. He's the one that wants to you know, get us away from a difficult previous administration, which is, of course, what President Obama ran on in 2008. Look, I feel overall that Governor Romney needed, got done what he needed to get done in this debate. I looked at the Gallup national poll for the election yesterday. It was 52-45 for Governor Romney. And as I said earlier, I think that with this performance tonight, I think that you are likely to see continued momentum towards Governor Romney and probably away from President Obama. And I think that Governor Romney is in a very strong position now going forward. I think he's in a strong position. I don't feel like there was anything really decisive that got done tonight. But I think that you said what you said, Paul. If you book in all of the debates together, I think that it clearly helped the team of Romney and Ryan, in my personal opinion. I think that the job interview, this was like, if you were to say it like that, that, you know, um, I don't know that Governor Romney closed the sale or closed the deal tonight, but I feel like, you know, he certainly didn't do it. I think that he helped himself a, a little bit. I think that Governor, I think that President Obama may have hurt himself a little bit. And I think that you just have to go back, like you said, you go back to the record. And I think that the fact checking and all the things, I think the demeanor of Governor Romney, everything that we talked about. Governor Romney had a better demeanor. Governor Romney had more plans and more facts that he laid out. Governor Romney seemed reasonable. Um, Governor Romney seemed like the candidate of hope and change and, and, and bipartisanship. And I think that, you know, it's kind of like implicitly, well, you know, look at the partisanship, look at the record of the last four years, it, you know, America, do you really want more of that? And I think that's what is framed with, with, with President Obama. And I think if you look at the bi language after the debate, Governor Romney seemed like he was pleased, he was happy. President Obama seems like he wasn't as pleased, in my personal opinion, and I almost wish that he could say at least a few more things. So I think that that um, this was a good debate for, for Governor Romney, but nothing dramatic one way or the other. Overall, the debates in total, definite advantage for the team of Romney and Ryan, in my personal opinion. What do you think out there? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree? What are your own feelings and thoughts on this? Where do you think the race stands right now? Um, and what, I mean, I don't. I think this is a, probably the time for folks to start making predictions. Who do you think is going to win the election and why? Obviously, we'll have more to talk about this. We want to hear from you right now. Please give us the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion, the super genius, and the media and political expert. That is Paul F. Villarreal. You're watching Conservative New Media. Also, I'm going to put a link to the Conservative New Media Facebook group in the description, over 2,300 members and growing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.